Hi guys, Matt from 123MyIT here. In this video, we will show you everything you need to know about the HB Elite Book 830G8. The Elite Book range is the premium level for HP business laptops. Below the Elite Book, you will have the Pro Book range, and above, you will have the Z Book range. This is a 13.3 inch business laptop, and it comes with an Intel Core i5 11th gen processor which has an integrated Iris XE graphics, along with 8GB of RAM and 256GB of MVME storage. That's for the base model. Pricing for the 830G8 starts at $1759 USD for the Intel i5 CPU, and it goes all the way up to $2059 USD for the i7 CPU. On the HP website, you can customize and buy if you are going to do this, then I recommend upgrading to an i7 CPU and changing the screen to a screen with better brightness. The default screen comes with only 250 nits of brightness. You can upgrade the screen with 1000 nits of brightness, which means the screen will be brighter. However, you should be aware that the brighter screen will also take up more battery life. In the box, you get the 830G8 itself along with a 45 watt power adapter. After testing the 830G8, I found it uses around 14 to 37 watts of power, and you can expect around 12 hours of battery life, or eight hours if you select the 1000 nits brightness screen I talked about earlier. Charging the battery will take just under one and a half hours. The 830G8 comes with a 13.3 inch FHD LED anti-glare display with a resolution of 1920 by 1080 and 250 nits of brightness. The display is a bit dim, however this laptop is designed to be portable, so a less power hungry display means longer battery life. In terms of gaming, I was able to get Fortnite to run ok, giving up about 35 to 50 frames per second. This would be mostly due to the Intel Quad Core i5 11th gen CPU as the Intel Iris XE GPU is not the best for gaming. The 830G8 also has a fingerprint scanner, which allows you to unlock windows with the touch of a button, but you will need to add it in the customized section that I mentioned earlier. Along the top, you will find an integrated HD 720p webcam with dual microphone and an indicator light. One of the cool things about the 830G8 design is you can close off the camera with a sliding button. On the right side you have a charging port, HDMI 1.4 port, two USB-C ports and a SIM card slot. The SIM card slot is pretty cool, but you will need to add this as an option when you buy. You also have the indicator light which shows you when the laptop is being charged. On the left you have a security lock, two USB 3 ports, audio jack and an SC card reader. Annoyingly there is no SD card reader. The 830G8 comes with Bang & Olufsen dual stereo speakers, and they are designed to point upwards towards your ears. The speakers sound pretty good, but I'm missing a little bit of bass. Let's take a listen. trackpad is nice and wide, but I do find myself right clicking a lot because to left click you need to press the bottom left side of the trackpad and for me it feels like the trackpad sits a little bit too far to the left. The keyboard is excellent, it's a delight to type on, and the keys don't bend or wobble when you press them. It also comes with two stage backlit keyboard as standard which is a nice touch. The overall build feels like premium quality, as it's made from aluminium, and there is little to no flex in the laptop. Also, it doesn't seem to leave fingerprints, which is great. The display hinge folds all the way back 175 degrees, however other laptops go all the way back to 180 degrees, so 175 does feel a bit awkward. 
You can also upgrade the 830GA by removing the screws from the bottom cover. The system supports 64GB of RAM, so you can upgrade that along with a 1TB NVMe SSD if you want to. The Wi-Fi card is already Wi-Fi 6, so you probably won't need to upgrade that for a while. Here's the Geekbench CPU and GPU scores. And when comparing the scores with the EliteBook 840G7 model from last year, the 830G8 is much faster. However, the ProBook 640G8 seems to be faster than this EliteBook 830G8. While running the benchmark, if we check what temperature the laptop gets to, it will be around about 35 degrees. You can see the heat doesn't show up around the palm rests. This is good design. It means your palms won't get uncomfortable when typing. The EliteBook is a great portable business laptop. This means that typing and battery life will be really good, but this is not a gaming laptop. If you're looking for a gaming laptop, then you should look with a laptop with a GeForce MX or the Radeon RX GPU configured. Guys, don't forget to check out my other videos such as how to transfer data iPhone to Android with a cable, uh, iCloud not needed. And do me a favor, if you know anyone who might like this video, please share it with them, hit the subscribe button, and smash the bell icon.